Hello, host Eric here, host of Talking with Famous People, and I'm here with host Abraham, who traveled to the ancient land of Korea, and I want to ask host Abraham about it, something that I thought about regarding him. So here I go. I've noticed that you tend to judge people on their level of ambition. Like, if they're not sufficiently ambitious, you kind of shake your head like, this kid, what's he doing? And if they are sufficiently ambitious, you, you say, this is a good person because you're to be ambition. Can you comment on your thoughts regarding ambition? And if you could scoop that way, it would be helpful. So, Well, what I just said, I said that I think you uh, tend to judge people on their level of ambition. Obviously, not necessarily everybody does, right? Why do you prioritize that as a value? I guess is what I'm asking. You should make this. Why? Because you're eating. That fine. fine. I'll, I'll talk about it. Her. Okay, fine. I'll talk about it. I think, I think ambition is a valuable thing to prioritize. I think it's, I don't even think it's a priority. I think it's like an inevitability for those who care. Because all ambition really means is that you, you are forward looking. But of course, and the dominant and he had a prioritize that. And I think this is really important. And your your backwards looking approach is is inferior. It's inferior to one to eight ratio. Like this happens to be the exact same ratio as my approach. <laughs> I guess I got lucky. I got the right one. Well, anyway. There's one area where I really I appreciate Abraham's insight. When he talks to me about other people, he's talking about what ultimately is the most important thing, which is motivation. You want motivated people. And I want, I am highly motivated right now to get soy sauce, because I've never remember it, and I'm delaying beginning the eating on soy sauce. But I forgot to ask for it. Can I have soy sauce, please? Yeah, for the rice? Here's a little known fact. It's actually not that little known, but people in Asia don't put soy sauce on their rice. Not at the table like this. Thank you. videos of people eating. Huh? In Korea, they watch videos of people eating. People eating, eating. Yeah, Abraham told me there's a Korean girl who makes $50,000 a month eating on videos. Really? Yeah. I don't know why either. Why would you want to watch a video of somebody eating? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, remember you guys should put some soy sauce on the chicken? I think so too. Thank you. Yeah. Apparently she's not a fan of the Korean eating videos. That's my take. Abraham, thoughts on the Korean eating video phenomenon? I think it makes money primarily for two reasons. First of all, there's a lot of weird people out there that might be into that type of thing, like it probably is a fetish. And then second of all, um, there were some comments about people joining her live stream of her eating the food because they needed the company of someone eating with them. So, I don't know. I mean, those are my two initial thoughts. That okay, second explanation makes a lot of sense. 
That would be, you know, if you're eating, you on a video of somebody else eating. You make like occasional comments. It's like not conversation, right? It would be cool to make a video specifically designed to do that. Hey, I'm glad you decided to join me for dinner. Let's sit down and eat together. And then you go, hmm, yours looks good. I think mine's better though. I need to eat for a while. <laughs> like that shit. Thank you, Abraham. Chef Abraham is, is cooking the meat today. I think he's probably been frustrated historically by my poor meat cooking uh, consistency. Which is to say, of course, I don't go into cooking meat with the idea of what it should look like when it's done or something exactly. I just sort of think, well, let's just start cooking and see how it goes. Talk about my autobiography debate. I'ma just start cooking and see how it goes. And we have a little posture and said, geez. Those smiley face at the end of it. Thanks for watching and talking to famous people.